And while I sincerely thought that Annie would be just devastated. Beverly, really? Beverly and Candace. <laughs> So truth be told, I am a little bit of a worrier, sissy, I know. But sometimes I let my emotions sort of see things that might not really eventually be there. And I let my emotions predict things. And while I sincerely thought that Annie would be just devastated. That she would be so lost. Oh no. We're just not going to talk about that. Or that. Or that. Right now. We're just. We're going to ignore that. Uh, I really thought that Annie would be like. Humming. And stressed and on this wild hunt for okie dokie. But in reality, I feel like she looks out over this little motley crew and that she knows she's serving a purpose and she's doing what she's always done for us. And I feel like Indy was like, it's okay, this is Longhorn Lusters. And that's right, baby, I did, I really thought it. Oh. She's like, yeah, see, <laughs> see, that's my Indy back there. She told me everything was going to be okay. And it is. And I will say that Indy actually showed more signs of just like sluggishness than Annie did. And I think that that's because Indy put up just one heck of a fight getting here and getting, not necessarily getting here, but getting shorn and and just being sort of controlled that day was just it was very stressful and i think that she wore herself out but now she's here she's protecting she's uh fully engaged and what's funny is I'm finding them following the donkeys more than the goats. Like the goats will go all the way out, but the donkeys kind of hang out here and then you'll find the alpacas. And that's something that I did not expect out of our sweet girl here. So I know that she's still finding her groove, but that Indy is having a pretty big influence because Indy believes she's a donkey. Oh my gosh, not... Mm. Mm. I'm trying to have a very sentimental moment here and a follow-up to show everyone that the outpack is okay. And what I'm really showing is that things aren't really okay. They're not, they're going both ways on the fence. They really are okay for this girl. Hi, sweet girl. You got flies by your eye, baby. Oh my gosh. And you're gonna think this is crazy but I feel more at home at Longhorn Lester's than I have in a long time. And watching the horses go a little bit crazy, excited for new friends to come. It's funny to watch them pull, like watch them see the trailer pull up and be able to think like, oh, something new is in there and they just know. And then to watch Annie make discoveries here and to see Indy just sort of embrace like, okay, I'm back. It's gonna be fine. Watch these two girls try to figure, hey, don't scratch me. Don't scratch me, that's Annie. Watch these two girls try to figure out Annie and Annie to figure out them. It's been a, it's been a joy. And in the mornings or before feed time or even, even just stepping out in the middle of the day when the donkeys see us braying and, and communicating with us or the way that, that everyone communicates across the fence and that everyone's super aware of when there's a potential predator or whenever the wind changes or just to see them function as a collective regardless of what 
breed of animal they are, of what pasture they're in. It's powerful. And um, I'm sad that Oki and Ernie aren't here, but I also know that this is, this, this has to be, hey, we're not gonna bark at Annie. That's my Annie. Millie, that's Annie. Just sort of like a piece of me was missing. Annie was my very first birthday gift from Lester. She's a sounding board to me. She's a protector like crazy. And to, to have her here is a true blessing. Ooh, that wind is picking up, babies. She's got to be cold. She's got to be feeling cold, all that hair missing. <laughs> Into you too, aren't you cold, baby? I love that they have each other. I love that they have found their place here. I love that they're still able to be alpacas and still able to... <laughs> Don't you spit. I just heard you work that up. <laughs> she does not want any to eat that particular spot. She found something really delicious in there. And she does not want Indy to mess up the pile that she has going. I love that they're here and I can't wait to cool them off this summer with sprinklers and a hose and maybe even take them to the other side to go swimming with the horses at some point. I know that Megan and Ellie have shown us that Oki and Ernie are doing great and I fully believe that would happen. I, uh, I just, you know, I'm a mama. And I worry about this mama's heart. But I knew, I knew we would make it work. So, if you're wondering how things are going since Annie and Indy got here, and if you're wondering how the chemistry in the pastures are going, I think everything's going pretty well. Beverly, really? Beverly and Candace. <laughs> How did Candace get to be so brave and so bold to be hanging out with Beverly and Ringo? That's what I need to know. I love her. And that's adorable. And also, when did the when did the redneck hot tub become a fabulous platter? That's almost like a, uh, a slow feeder. You put food in different spots for dogs to slow them down from eating. This is, this is actually perfect for both Beverly and Candace. All right. <sighs> All is well, friends. All is well. <laughs>